Why can't I beat this? Oh, I see. You're supposed to jump on the Goomba. All right. Wow. That was easy. That only took me like two hours. That was this new record. Just crazy. Oh, hi. Who are you? Mass. Master the Sandbox. Who are you? Turt's Donut. Nice to meet you. What's your middle name? It's Jelly. Right then, Hertz Jelly Donut. You wanna come see something amazing? Something amazing video games. You see where I'm coming from here? Video games, something amazing. Come on. Mommy told me not to go with strangers. What if I told you there was candy? Is it name brand candy? Name brand yes. candy. I'm coming. Stupid strangers coming in my house. So, what is that? Just a sandbox. See? I'm gonna go back inside now. You don't understand. It has to be this small, or the smallest of atoms won't even fit. But on the inside, it's also big enough to hold the entire universe. Or. The sandbox could even hold the sandbox. It's basically because of the quantum physics of the space-time continuum. It's running on the equation of space-time equals E equals MC square plus the angle of a circle times Chuck Norris's Nokia phone divided by the flux capacitor plus a chameleon circuit with a sprinkle of Morgan Freeman's voice and a unicorn and then with just a dash of cafeteria food because cafeteria food, as you know, contains rocket fuel. You knew that, right? What else would make it taste that bad? Did you guys get that? Because we're not repeating it again. But there are rules. I'll say them in order of their priority. Number one, nothing exists until we put it in the sandbox. Anything can exist, but not until it goes in the sandbox. Got it? Okay. Number two, this is Master Cosby's sandbox. We can't put anything in the sandbox that he did not approve me of putting in. And number... Th well, it's more important than the other two, so I... I guess rule negative one. We must hit the reset button when we're done in the sandbox. To reset the entire sandbox. If we don't, things start escaping and... Then you got, like... TARDIS is just flying everywhere. It's just a mess. Just... Listen to me when I say, reset the sandbox when you're done. Oh, I almost forgot. If we're outside of the sandbox, this bell will make a noise. If we're inside the sandbox, it won't make any noise at all. All right, you ready to see how the sandbox works? Fine. Here's how it works. Say you want a Pokemon. Just open it up, put a toy in there, and now what? Well, here's the fun part. Now we get to jump in. Geronimo! Oh! oh! Huh. Now what? Go open it. Whoa, is that a Meowth? Meowth, it's not the coolest thing I've seen. Of course, I am 900 years old. You don't age inside the sandbox. Because when you go inside the sandbox, all the time outside of the sandbox stops. So, I'm technically 900 years old. Let me show you how to get out. You control an all-powerful sandbox with a 3DS. I used to use Xboxes, but they kept red ringing and were way too expensive. <coughs> Nintendo rules. <coughs> oh, sorry, I had a little uh, frog in my throat. <coughs> Nintendo rules. Um. Here's how you get out. You just press the A button, and then the Smash Bros. demo comes up, and... Geronimo! Oh! Woo, that was fun. Now that we're back, let's go inside and I'll tell you how to reset the sandbox. Do to reset the sandbox is press the power button, then press power off. Oh, so it's like the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Not really. 
It doesn't travel through time, it only stops it outside of the sandbox. It's like the DeLorean from Back to the Future. It only travels through space, not time. It's basically a way to tell stories, but instead of just writing down a story, we get to live the story. Oh, hey, can I try that bell? Just ring it. Thanks. So, where is Master Cosby? Master Cosby used to rule this sandbox, but then he went on to a portable special sandbox to help kids with their Spanish. You mean their sandbox? Their sandbox. Do you still remember him? Yes. Well, the way I see it, you never forget someone as awkwardly fantastic as Master Cosby. Every once in a while, I'm just sitting in my own little sandbox and think of the good times and smile. Of course, I don't have to smile, but the way I see it, life is always a pile of good things and bad things, and Mr. Cosby definitely added to the good things. In the words of Dr. Seuss, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. And even when you're hobbling on a crutch, you'll never forget about all the good times you had with Mr. Cosby. He must have been really good. He was the best. In sandbox school, there was never any teachers that really connected with us on a personal level like Mr. Cosby did. He understood your problems and he talked about video games and movies and TV shows. When he left on his portable sandbox to go help little kids with their sandbox skills, they tried to replace him, but no one could teach sandbox skills like Mr. Cosby could. But, I suppose. Have you tried out the bell yet? Here, let me try. What did it mean if the bell didn't make any noise? Oh no.